having a little picnic at the La Brea Tar Pits. Well, this is pit 91. You can actually see some large bones down in the tar. Here's Katie playing in the tar. Pits are made of oil seeping up from a thousand feet below. And we're about to go inside the museum. Here's a beautiful specimen of Harlan's ground sloth. And these animals weighed around 1,500 pounds. And here's a close-up of the uh, large claws. And here's a specimen of the antique bison. It's a uh, pump on its back was much larger than the modern bison. It also had larger horns. And here's a great specimen of the extinct camel. These uh, camel originated in North America around 45 million years ago. This is the American Mastodon. This is a mother and her six-year-old youngster. Both these specimens were recovered from pit number nine. Here we see a Shasta ground sloth. Here's a close-up of the huge claws on its front hands. And it had even larger claws on the back feet. up for this one. This is the Colombian mammoth. Uh, these animals got up to 13 foot tall and weighed as much as 15,000 pounds. It's a very large animal. Here's the skull of the California saber tooth. Here's a uh, skull of a dire wolf. Uh, they've got it tipped over to show you the teeth. And this is the American lion. Here's the uh, skull. and the lower jaw. And 
this is the paw of the American lion. And this is a molar of an imperial mammoth. And here we have the California saber tooth. Here's a closer look at the paws. And the skull. And here are some Native American artifacts showing the use of tar by the Native Americans. And here you can see how Native Americans used the tar to fill the holes in this abalone shell. And they used the tar to patch this beautiful stone bowl. Here's an excellent spearhead recovered from the pit. Native Americans would have used the tar to help secure the spearhead to the shaft. And here's a beautiful specimen of a California condor. Now here's a wonderful replica of a dire wolf. The teeth and jaws of the dire wolf were stronger and larger than those of the modern wolf. It's believed that a pack could bring down an animal as large as a camel or a bison. This is a specimen of a giant jaguar. And here we see a saber-toothed cat. Here we see conservators working on bones that have come out of the carpet. And this is the extinct western horse. These animals lived in North America for about 50 million years. And they migrated to Europe and Asia and Africa before becoming extinct in the New World. And here we have the short-faced bear. These bear were larger than any of the modern North American bears. It would have weighed about twice as much as a modern-day grizzly. Here's a better look at its claws. Now here's a block of the tar from Pit 81, exhibiting some of the bones just as they found them. And you can see this block is just packed with bones.
we see a saber tooth attacking a ground sloth. And this is the femur bone of a human female. I believe to be 9,000 years old. 